Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is set mismatch. So the question says that we have a set of integer sets which originally contains all the numbers starting from the range 1 through n. So n is the length of the array. And unfortunately, due to some error, one of the numbers in s got duplicated to another number in the set, which results in a repetition of one of the number and loss of another number. So in this question, we're given an integer array nums representing the data status of the set after this error has occurred. Now our task is to find the number which occurs twice and also the number which is missing and we have to return them in the form of an array. So our output array is going to have size 2. So this is going to be the number which is appearing twice and this is going to be the number which is missing. So this will be our output format which is an integer array which will be of size 2. So let's take this example and see how we can solve this question. So we have the input array nums of the example 1. Now since we have to find out the number which is appearing twice we have to deal with frequencies, right? So let me create a hash map which will store the array element as a key and the value is going to be the frequency of that array element. So we start iterating through the input array from left to right. We pick the first element. We check if it is present inside the map. No, it's not present. So insert it as key and set its frequency to 1. In the next iteration, we take element 2. Check if it is present inside the map as key. No, it's not present. Insert it and set its frequency to 1. Next, array 2 again. Check if it is present inside the map. Yes, it is present. So get its current frequency and increment it by 1. So the total frequency of 2 is updated to 2. Next element is 4. Check if it is present inside the map as key. No, it is not present. So insert it as key and set its value as 1. Now we filled all the elements. Now we have the hash map ready. Since they mentioned this condition that originally the array consists of all the numbers from range 1 to n. So I'll use a for loop where I will start from 1 and it will iterate till i is equal to n. And here n is the length of the array. Length of the array is equal to 4. So we start from range 1 through 4. So i will be initially 1. We check if 1 is present inside the key. Yes, it is present. If it is present, get its frequency. Its frequency is 1. So it means it has repeated only once. But we need the element which has occurred twice. So it is present inside the map. So it does not fit here and it does not fit here. So we move to the next equal to 2. Now we check if 2 is present inside the map. Yes, 2 is present. So get its frequency. 2's frequency is 2. So it means 2 is appearing 2 times inside the array. So we found the first number which is appearing twice. We insert it at result of 0. So result of 0 is 2. And now we go to the next iteration. Next iteration i will be updated to 3. We check if 3 is present inside the map as key. No, 3 is not present inside the map as key. So that is the missing number, right? So insert that number i which is 3 into the result at result of 1. You repeat it is at result of 0 and missing is at result of 1 and this is the required output which is matching here. Now let's implement the same steps in a Java program. So here I'm creating the output of length 2 because we need the output of length 2 and this is the input given to us which is an integer array nums and I'm creating the map and now I iterate through the input array nums and fill the map. So I'm using the get or default method. If num is already present inside the map it will get its current uh, frequency else it will get its default frequency 0 and each time you find that element, you increment plus 1. So let's take the same example, 1, 2, 2, 4. So first we start with 1. Check if it is present inside the map. No. So add it and set its frequency to 1. Next element is 2. Set its frequency to 1. Next element is 2. 2 is already present. So add 1 to it. So 2's frequency is 2 now. Next element is 4. It is not present. So set its frequency to 1. Now we fill the map. Now we use a for loop to iterate from the range i is equal to 1 and less than or equal to n. because we are given the range of the original numbers present inside the array. Now I'm checking if i, i will start from 1 until i is equal to nums.length, length is equal to 4, so i is equal to 4. So i should be equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 because we are using i is less than or equal to, so 4 will also be included. Now we start with first iteration, i is equal to 1. Now i is equal to 1, 1 is present inside the map, yes 1 is present. So get 1's frequency, 1's frequency is 1. We check if 1 is equal to 2. No. So it is not a duplicate. And now we go to the next iteration. Because we entered the if block, this won't be executed. And now i is equal to 2. We check if 2 is present inside the map. Yes, 2 is present. So get 2's frequency. 2's frequency is 2. We check if 2 is equal to 2. Yes. So assign 2 as the duplicate. 2 will be assigned as duplicate. So 2 is here. Since we entered the if statement, else block will be skipped. And now i is equal to 3. We check if 3 is present inside the map. No, 3 is not present inside the map as key. So if statement will be skipped and else block will be executed and we assign i 3 to missing. So missing will be assigned 3. And now in the next iteration i is equal to 4. 
we check if 4 is present inside the map yes 4 is present get its frequency here 4's frequency is 1 we check if it is equal to 2 no so this won't be executed and since we entered the if statement else block will be skipped the next iteration i is equal to 5 and we are going out of bounds of this condition so we come out of the for loop and we assign result of 0 as duplicate so this is 0 and 1 right result of 0 is duplicate and result of 1 is missing and 2 and 3 will be assigned there and finally we'll return the result 2 comma 3 which is the expected output here so the time complexity of this approach is o of n where n is the length of the nums array and the space complexity is also o of n because we're using a hash map to solve this question that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video